The quake struck an area where more than a million people live. So far, at least 24 people are known dead. Hundreds have been injured. Early estimates of property damage are in excess of half a billion dollars. The force of the quake shut down power grids, plunging thousands of households into darkness. Mayor, thank you so much for coming in uh, this morning. It sure seems like your city got the worst of this. We were hammered uh, yesterday afternoon. As of uh, 5 a.m. this morning, we had 32 confirmed fatalities. Over 600 citizens who have been treated at the DCA. There is America. tragedy across a part of America tonight. The terrible tornado disaster in the southern United States, the rising death toll, the towns flattened, the neighborhoods left in ruins. It is a fierce, freak weather assault. 165 tornadoes in 24 hours, one of the tornadoes traveling 100 miles and so much death. More than 290 people have been killed across six states. There's a frantic effort underway tonight to find survivors. There are an uncounted number of the dead tonight. Are these catastrophes acts of an angry God the result of global warning, freak accidents, or maybe a sign that the world is indeed coming to an end? A close examination of these storms and natural disasters show that they all have similar traits that take them beyond the explanations and suppositions you may have probably heard. We invite you to a special service at Zoe Christian Fellowship on Sunday, April 1st at 10 a.m. You can examine the facts and common elements of these events and decide for yourself. Is there a cause for concern for such disasters that are obviously beyond our control? April 1st is known as April Fool's Day, but a fool falls for things that take them unaware. Don't be taken. Don't be afraid. Don't be fooled. April 1st, a Palm Sunday, you soon won't forget.